What's up guys, we're in Estonia today. I knew very little about Estonia. I researched a teeny bit and I learned that Estonia has just had a ton of different empires. It was a part of the Swedish Empire and then during World War II it was bombed by the Soviets, became part of the Soviet Union, was there for like 50 years till that collapsed and now it's finally independent. I'm so curious about this place because it has such a dynamic history and I just knew nothing about it. Seems like Estonia, particularly we're in Tallinn right now, has quite the hills. That is so weird. They look like in Harry Potter, like the Dementors. They got all these black robes on and they're like, yeah. all, you can't right see there. their face. <laughs> it's just the robe. <laughs> oh, it's hollow. I got to read up on the history of that. Why do they have this? We scoured the internet trying to find out what these three monks mean, but we honestly can't tell. I guess it's like, has something to do with legends in the city, but I don't know what the legends are. So if you know, let us know. And then all the way on the other side of the courtyard, you have this huge cannon. Because I mean, why not have a cannon, right? Just look at that thing. I feel like we should be in Russia with that. It literally was constructed during the Russian Empire when the Russian Empire like encompassed. Estonia. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. I love the dome tops. The dome ceilings are insane. Yeah, and just like the diversity and culture here is really cool to it, see. It really is, yeah. All right, let's go to the other pointy building I see over here. It's cold. It's a cold one out here today and a windy. Yeah, it's cold. Have you ever seen Estonia's flag? Because neither had I, or I didn't know that that was Estonia's flag. It's blue, black, and white. The blue represents devotion. The um, black represents the tragic past of Estonia. And then the white represents the promising future of prosperity that it has. I love learning about flags. Look at that. Estonia. Windy Estonia. <laughs> wow, that's strong. <laughs> It's so windy! <laughs> Why does wind make everything 10 times colder? Oh wait, look! Over here, they have an awesome view of the city of Tallinn. Let's check it out! <laughs> yeah, let's do it. This is beautiful! Yeah, it is. You can see like the whole city from up here. This is super cool. We weren't actually planning to even come here on this trip, but we are. Apparently, Tallinn's Old Town is one of the best preserved old towns in all of Europe. And walking these streets, it definitely checks out because these buildings like look so, not necessarily new, but well kept. Like out of time. Like it doesn't feel like we're in the 21st century. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Maybe they just knew it would get blasted by wind so they had to make it strong. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> when you make it with solid rock, like, it ain't going anywhere, you know? <laughs> I love talent. You got some leaves on your butt. Do I? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rika just told me to turn it around. <laughs> Are they gone? Yeah, they're gone. Good. <laughs> so we found another viewpoint. You can see how like much of a mix there is between like modern buildings and like the more old cobblestone streets like century old buildings which I think is really interesting. It's almost like a circle like there's like a circle of old town and then right after that you just have like glass skyscrapers over there. Now we need to get inside and warm up a little bit. We're gonna go to a cafe and chill out.
Look at these Russian dolls. But be careful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so the person that would break that. They have atomic dyes, which show kind of the Scandinavian Swedish influence, which I think is cool as well. Tom does a basically like a legendary figure in Swedish culture, like a farm troll kind of thing. Awesome. Hi, Ta. Hi, Ta. Bye bye. So, we got a treat, and we're realizing the prices in Estonia are definitely cheaper than like Finland and Sweden in the Scandinavian areas, which is very nice for us budget travelers. <laughs> so we're at Town Hall Square right now and it is beautiful. Yeah. It seems like it's the center of life of Old Town. Good vibes, a lot of flowers. The buildings are just super pretty. A lot of different colors and they have this huge church and clock tower right across from it. It's just fun. It's like a medieval town square, which we haven't seen before. So we found out that this is actually a town hall, which makes sense because this is Town Hall Square. <laughs> oh, yeah. that makes sense. I looked up pictures and in Christmas time, there's like a beautiful snowy Christmas market that they set up right back here. That'd be nice. Yeah, so if you're around during that time, maybe you make a stop in Tallinn. Just looked it up and it's super interesting. Most of this country is actually covered by 50% of forest, and like 28% agricultural land, and it has some of the cleanest air on earth. So like this city area, even though it's gorgeous, only makes up a minor percentage of the actual country. This place is just beautiful everywhere. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Yeah. Everywhere you look, like, just look at that. Super whimsical. Feels like we're in a fairy tale. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good, thank you. Wow. Its recipe is uh, something already 600 years old. Wow, it's really good. So That's it's really good. Old. Can I have one more? <laughs> Yo, those nuts were crazy good. That's great. Medieval recipe, 600 years old. That's and fun. Kitschy. Super kitschy. Europe's just a, the next level old, you know? Yeah. I just love walking these streets. Walking down the street, found a bunch of tombstones. People who died in the 14th century, in the 1300s. I love Europe. <laughs> you just don't find that anywhere else. That's crazy. Our great, 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 great grandparents. Look there, it's just a shop down there. Right underground. I love little souvenir shops. All right, we're gonna head back to City Square. If we can figure out how to get there. This place is really cool. I enjoy the city a lot. It's so cute to just walk around, see a bunch of places. It was a good day. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Estonia is full of surprises. Estonia, thanks for treating us. We're really um, thankful that we were able to visit. It's kind of a spontaneous little trip. We do have a couple more videos we're gonna do, but if you have any ideas of things we should do while here, let us know in the comments. Bye everybody. Subscribe for more.